Hey guys, Mike here and this is the Asus Mimo Pad 8. It's an affordable Android tablet, sells for a little over 200 euros and offers something you're not getting with many Android tablets these days, an 8 inch screen. I for one have never been a big fan of 7 inch slates. Yes, they are highly portable, but the screen is just too small. 8 inches are the perfect sweet spot for me, the correct balance between size and the enjoyable experience. That's why I had high hopes for the Mimo Pad 8 and you'll find out if it managed to meet them from this review. So let's get going. You should know from starters that there's nothing fancy about this tablet. It doesn't pack crazy features, the sharpest screen or the fastest hardware. It doesn't impress with the looks either, but despite all this, it's an overall good tablet. I have the dark grey version of the Mimo Pad 8 here, which comes with a rubbery smooth back while the white unit is glossy. The device is fairly compact and light, weighing about 350 grams, although we've seen lighter and thinner devices in this class. The screen occupies most of the front face, with rather narrow bezels around it and the entire thing actually feels nice in hand, well balanced. The rounded edges do make it more comfortable to hold and use. Now, this is not a one-handed device, but you can easily grab it with one hand and use it with the other. Just be gentle with it, it's not very sturdy and creaks and squeezes when grabbed firmer. That aside, you do get all the basics with this Mimo Pad. Around the edges there are a handful of ports and buttons, including a microSD card reader and a micro USB connector placed unfortunately on the top edge, which does make the tablet rather uncomfortable to use when charging unless you flip it upside down. There's also one large speaker on the back and the camera, without flash, while on the front face there's another camera for video calls. But enough with this, let's go ahead and turn on this slate. It's running Android 4.2.2 on a quad-core processor with 1GB of RAM and 16GB of storage, out of which about 12 are available for your own stuff. Or in other words, there's a mainstream platform on this Mimo Pad, not meant to impress in benchmark results, but one that's capable of delivering a consistent everyday experience. Yes, the Mimo Pad 8 is not nearly as zippy as the Nexus 7 or other premium Android slates, but it gets things done in the end, whether we're talking about browsing through your favorite websites, watching movies and listening to music, playing games or just taking photos. In fact, this device is a fairly good multimedia companion, as it supports a large variety of video files out of the box, including high bitrate 1080p MKVs. It runs games smoothly, and I was surprised to see that even GTA Vice City, a very demanding title, is working almost flawlessly at maximum details with only some occasional hiccups. Last but not least, the speaker is pretty good and punchy, especially if you tweak the sound coming out of it with the included Audio Wizard app. Asus does enhance the Android version on this tablet, but most core functions are kept close to what you're getting with vanilla. You do get some customizations, like a redesigned notification panel and some extra widgets, plus those small apps that run on top of other windows. And we do get a handful of pre-bundled apps, with only a few of them actually useful. But even so, I've definitely seen worse skins than this one. So all in all, there's nothing you will ask from this Asus slate and it won't be able to deliver which means that as long as you're patient with it and don't mind the rather slow animations, I'm confident you're going to be happy with this Mimo Pad 8. The larger screen is however this slate's greatest asset in my opinion. There's an 8 inch display and that extra inch from the standard 7 inch slates might not seem much, but it actually makes a whole of a difference. You get more room for apps, videos, websites, games and so on, which makes them much more enjoyable. Now, the screen on the Mimo Pad is not impressive, but the IPS panel with 1280 by 800 pixel resolution is fairly good. It's not as sharp, as vibrant or as bright as some of the other screens, and I'm again looking at the Nexus 7 here, but it's just sharp, vibrant and bright enough to provide an enjoyable everyday experience. If you're already used to higher density panels, then yes, you'll be somewhat annoyed by the lower PPI of this screen, but otherwise I'm pretty sure you'll be fine with it. And then there's the battery life, where I was actually hoping for more from this Mimo Pad. However, Asus only squeezed an around 4000 mAh battery on their 8 inch slate, which is just as big as what we've seen on many 7 inchers. Still, with a slower hardware and simpler screen, the Mimo Pad 8 can go for 5 to 8 hours of daily use on a charge, based on how and what you're running on it, about 7 hours of playing videos, and about 4 to 5 hours of running games. That's not bad, but given the larger and heavier body, I was expecting a bigger battery as well. Asus does offer a smart saving mode if you need to squeeze more out of this slate, but it dims the screen and caps the performances, so I didn't use it too much. That aside, the Mimo Pad packs a 5 megapixel camera on the back with a nice interface that offers plenty of tweaks and manual settings. The pics and videos are far from impressive, but if the world's on fire and you really need to take a picture, the slate will do. Judge the results yourselves.
All in all, the Mimo Pad 8 checks all the right boxes as long as you don't have high expectations from it. The wireless chip offers good performances, even when a bit further away from the router, the micro USB port supports OTG and there's also GPS and Bluetooth on board. But there is one important detail keeping me from declaring this a best buy, the price. As I've said in the beginning, the Mimo Pad is affordable, and it is for an 18-er, as it's going to start at about 230 to 250 euros over here. But that is pretty much how much the 2013 version of the Nexus 7 sells for as well. So as a potential buyer we get to choose between these two and the Mimo Pad has only one major thing on its side, the larger screen. It does matter and it does make a whole of a difference, but when the other option is a much snappier device with a higher quality screen, well, my money are still going towards the Nexus. However, if you really want the larger display and all its benefits, the Mimo Pad is a great pick for the money, and hopefully it will get cheaper as well down the line. Alright, that's about it from me, but I'd love to know what do you guys think about this Asus Mimo Pad 8. Is it a good buy? Are you willing to deal with its lags or is there a better option for the same kind of money? Well, please leave your replies below and if you have any questions, post them as well, I'll do my best to reply. Anyway, that's about it for now, thank you for watching and I'll catch you later. In the meantime though, make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this clip and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, so you won't miss any of my next updates. See you soon.